I hate ads and you do too. Get an ad blocker to avoid that shit. You can donate to my Ko-Fi or get a membership to support my content so I don't have to worry about copyright. Thank you and enjoy the video. And now, a presentation from Timmy for this video's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is a platform dedicated to empowering you with knowledge in areas ranging from computer science, mathematics, programming, and much more. Brilliant effectively integrates problem solving into its lessons in order to provide an interactive and fun experience while making it easy to use what you've learned instead of just memorization. I love Brilliant as it's not overwhelming, it's accessible, and it's enjoyable. Brilliant allows you to specify whether or not you're proficient in your field so you can learn something useful no matter how much you know. No matter what goal you choose, using Brilliant to learn something every day is a good habit that your brain will definitely thank you for. Making good on your daily goal is pretty easy no matter where you are thanks to Brilliant's mobile app. Brilliant can help you whether you're trying to excel in school, learn something new, or, you know, gain more knowledge in your field professionally. This could be the difference between passing a test or finding a new hobby or getting a promotion. If you would like to nurture your brain with Brilliant for free for a full 30 days, head on over to brilliant.org slash learnxtv or scan the QR code on screen or click my link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription as well. Another thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta go down and get the uh, door notes. User. What? Where's bootloader? It goes right there. See, I drew it. With Grub install. You were supposed to cut it out with Grub make config. Dude, I'm gonna. Oh, really? Yes. So go get the Grub make config. Okay, I will. Learn XTV. Okay, let's face it. Initially, Linux can be an unwieldy maiden for sure. She has her ups, she has her downs, and she is quite possibly one of the most complex girls out there. So in this video, I'm gonna go over common mistakes that fledgling Linux gangsters make when they're just a bit misinformed. First one is using wrong application formats, so things like downloading debs on an RPM-based distro and vice versa instead of at least checking the package manager first. This one is a lot more common than you think. Here's a cheat sheet to remember this. Debs are for Debian-based distributions, like Ubuntu or Linux Mint by technicality. RPMs are for distributions based off of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, like Fedora, CentOS, OpenSUSE, or RHEL itself, of course. There are some distributions that don't yield to these two standards, though, like Void Linux uses its own package manager, XBPS, which doesn't support RPMs or DEBs by default and requires the employment of special software that converts it into something good to eat, like XDEB. So keep that in mind, maggots. The second thing is not doing a system update after a fresh install. Your system is like a wee baby. It needs nutrients. It needs to be carefully monitored. It needs love and attention. A cornerstone of that love and attention is making sure that your Linux baby is actually properly updated. You're usually going to want to update first thing. Why? You may be asking through your computer screen encased in a veil of Dorito dust. Well, here's why. One, your system is almost always going to be outdated upon your first install. Two, updating is just good practice. You're gonna have to do it at one point or another. Three, updating ensures that your system is secure so you don't get nasty viruses and your system fucking kills itself. Four, do you not want new features and patches? I mean, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer, right? So remember, after your first installation, and some increment after that which could be daily, weekly, but maybe not monthly, make sure to update your Linux. Of course, it depends on what distribution you're using. But how, you may be asking through your computer screen, lathered in a thick sheet of dried up Coca-Cola? Gross. Well, here's how, depending on your distro. For Debian-based distributions that use apt, you should first do apt update in order to index your repositories. Keep in mind that apt update does not install updates to your system, contrary to the name, it just updates your repositories and tells your system about all the sweet new shit you can actually download. After having done apt update, you can then do apt upgrade, which genuinely updates your packages. 
As for RHEL-based distributions that use DNF, use DNF upgrade with the refresh option. So DNF upgrade refresh. Third thing is mind the commands that you're running from sources like GitHub, for example. I cannot stress this enough. Linux is not immune to viruses at all. This is why you update your system, and this is why you don't trust shady commands from unverified ass sources on GitHub or Linux forms. It's fucking shady. It sounds like a rare occurrence, but staying on the safe side and checking comments or seeing how reputable the source for your commands is could literally be the difference between breaking your system and avoiding something possibly catastrophic. And by the same token, read what packages are being uninstalled upon an update. You saw what happened to Linus Gadget tidbits, everybody. Come on. And I have to type, yes, do as I say in order to install it. Four, do not install NVIDIA drivers from the fucking website. This is a holy tenet that must be obeyed to a fault. NVIDIA drivers installed from their website cannot be updated by your package manager, they're prone to break if you update your system as a result, and they are not tested to work with your specific distribution. Nine times out of ten. Unless you're on a longer release distribution and you're willing to put in the work and research to pick up the slack upon updating your system, or you really, really want the latest drivers, please, for the love of God, just use the NVIDIA drivers that come with your distribution. It will save you from so many headaches. That's it for this video. It's a bit of a shorty, but I'm going to come up with more content in the pipeline as I go. Appreciate you guys for watching. Don't die tomorrow. Peace out. I see the problem. Oh, do ya!